Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many .NET Core developers encounter. Our viewer has created a .NET Core application using Visual Studio 2017, but instead of the expected .exe file, they're getting a .dll file. They've checked their project settings and confirmed that the output type is set to .exe, but something still isn't right. So why is Visual Studio 2017 producing a DLL file instead of an EXE? Let's dive in and uncover the solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Get if you're encountering an issue where Visual Studio 2017 is producing a DLL file instead of an EXE file for your .NET Core application, let's first check the project settings. Next, it's important to verify that your project is indeed a console application. In .NET Core, only console applications can be compiled into an .exe file. Now let's take a look at the .cs proj file. You mentioned that the output type is set to .xz, which is correct. However, ensure that there are no conflicting settings elsewhere in the project. Another common reason for this issue is the configuration settings. Make sure you are building the project in the correct configuration, such as debug or release. Finally, if everything seems correct and you're still getting a DLL, try cleaning and rebuilding your solution. This can often resolve unexpected build issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To compile a .NET Core application as an .exe file using Visual Studio 2017, you can use the command line for a self-contained publish. You can reduce the output size from about 60 member to around 30 members by using eLink. For an even smaller single EXE file around 5 megabyte, consider using IL Compiler. For more details, check the link provided in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To compile a .NET Core application as an .exe file, consider not making it self-contained if the target machine has the correct .NET Core version. This reduces the number of DLL files needed. Using a batch file wrapper can simplify running your application without needing to specify .NET in the command line. If your application is named yourapp.dll, create a batch file named yourapp.bat to run it directly with parameters. This method is best for in-house tools with a standard setup. For external distribution, a self-contained option is recommended. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, 
I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.